Welcome back to the channel everyone. It is a beautiful morning. You can hear the birds in the background. We have traveled to the Midwest for the holiday and uh, unfortunately when we were using the hedge trimmers yesterday it got the end of one of our extension cords. This is a hundred foot extension cord and pretty pricey to replace. However, I'm going to show you how we can fix this for under five dollars coming up. Okay, so here we are. We have our extension cord. This is a bit of an older model. It is a light duty use extension cord. It is a two prong extension cord. You'll see that one of the slats in the side is a little bit taller than the other. We're going to explain what that means. It is a super simple repair in order to fix this. So there's no need to throw the extension cord away. What we have done is we have went to the hardware store and we have picked up a replacement end and I'm going to show you how to actually use the replacement end and we're going to cut the end off and there's just a few other tools that we need to make this happen. And so as you see I brought out the utility knife. I've got a Phillips head screwdriver and I have a pair of needle nose pliers and that has a cutter attachment on it. That's what we're going to use to cut the end. So this is what we need to do. So first off we're going to take a look at the cord just to make sure that there's no other damage around it and there's not. And you can see when we were using the hedge trimmer of course we did a pretty good job here of cutting that quite in half. It's a two wire. There's a white wire and a black wire. And so you need to understand what those polarities are. And so in the United States the white wire is considered neutral and the black wire is considered hot. And so what we're going to do, whenever we cut it, we're going to make sure that the white wire or the neutral wire is installed on the wider slot here and the hot wire is going to be on the smaller slot side of the attachment. So let's put this together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and completely cut off that end. Okay, that's gone. So we've lost about, what, a foot and a half? Something like that, not too much. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our utility knife. See, you can see when you look inside there, we have an insulated black wire and we have an insulated white wire. So we're gonna peel back the sheath on that to expose those wires. All I'm gonna do Just run my utility knife there. There we go. There's the two conductors on the inside. And so those are the two conductors that we're going to match up on the inside of our replacement plug. So let me just get this trimmed up. Sorry for the noise in the background. There's a neighbor that is actually working out in their backyard as well this morning. Okay, so on this specific connector, we're gonna to need to just back the Phillips screw out. Each one of these that you buy is different. This is a two-prong cord. Most often you see three-prong that have a ground. So you're going to take the screw out, I'm going to set that aside, I'll put it in my pocket. And on this type of connector, what you have to do is push from the back and this pops out and that'll expose the connectors that we need to connect the black and white wire to. So I'll do that now. Okay, and you can see this is the sleeve. Here's the connectors. Now, if you look closer, remember what we said was the wider prong is going to go to the neutral, and the neutral is white, and the smaller prong goes to the hot, which is going to be black. On the side, there are screws that you use to fasten the wire, and essentially it's going to sit in there like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim back this outer covering about an inch or so 
And if you can kind of imagine, this sits in there like this, and then the wires go on either side. And so once that's in there, it'll clamp down and hold that wire. So let's get that cut real quick. So this is just the outer jacket of that extension cord. Okay, outer jacket is covered, so now you have your two wires that are exposed. Okay. Now what we have to do is we're going to strip off about a quarter to a half an inch on each one of these and then that's what's going to wrap around each one of the terminals. So I'll do that now and I'll use my needle nose pliers with the cutter in the middle. Okay so you just saw that we cut the insulation back and off camera what I did was I ended up taking about I'd say it's probably a half inch to about three quarter inch uh, of the insulation off of each one of the wires and then I've twisted those wires to make sure that they're all together. So the first step that we need to do is this is the outer covering and so we need to put the wire through the back here. So this is how this does. So we're just going to take it and push it through there. Until it comes out the other side. This may be a little bit difficult. And that's okay. There we go. Okay, so we're pushing that wire and twisting at the same time. It's just the right size, as you can see, for the cord. And there's our exposed wire. So we're going to push it in through here a little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to pull the wire through just a little bit more so I have a little bit more room to work. So you can see that that's in there really good now. And we have enough room to work whenever we're doing our conductors. Okay, so what we said earlier is the wider side of this two-prong in the United States is the neutral. That's the white, and the black will go to the other side. So in order to get this installed, what we need to do is we have to unscrew each one of the screws on the side and that's what's going to clamp down onto the conductor. So, I find the best approach is to use your Phillips screwdriver and you can twist the copper wire around and make a loop. Okay, just like that. Now let's loosen up each side. The nice thing about this one is it allows us to take it out. So we can just take it out. And remember on this side it needs to be the neutral. So the white has to go on that side in the United States. We'll loosen the screw. We'll put the white conductor onto the screw and then we'll tighten it. Since I'm turning it to the right to tighten, I'm going to put it on the bottom side so it pulls it up into that screw as I get it tighter. Let's loosen this just a little bit more. Just like that. Okay, you can see now that I have the copper wire sitting under that screw, now I'm just going to tighten it. Okay, nice and tight. We'll go ahead and set that back in and we'll do this other one while it's on the connector itself. So you can see that it can easily be done there too. Okay. 
So on this side, since I'm going to be turning to the right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it sitting on the top so it pulls it in. So let's do that now. Loosen it just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, you can see that that's now underneath that screw. So I'm just going to hold a little bit of tension on it and I'm going to turn it to the right and tighten it. Okay, that's that. So let's double check our connections. So the white is now to the neutral side. The black is now to the hot side. So we're in good shape. Okay, and to reinstall it into the housing, I'm going to pull back on the wire that I pushed through earlier. I'm make sure that none of the wires bind. You can see it's just going in perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to push from the top and I'm going to pull slightly on this cord here. We're almost done. Okay, now that we have everything installed, we're going to reinstall the set screw that I had in my pocket. Tighten it with the Phillips screwdriver. Check all the connections, that's not going to come out. Everything's nice and tight. Hopefully, this was helpful to you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.